Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome in. Today, for the first time, I'm playing God of War Ascension. I just recently finished up last week my time in God of War 3. I know that God of War Ascension travels all the way back to the very beginning of Kratos' story, which I know is kind of an interesting way to play the games, but for those of you that have been following my series so far, I wanted to play the games in the timeline that they were released in because I love following the art and the game development and how the game series changes over time. I think it's really interesting to see how different God of War 1 looks compared to even the remastered God of War 3, which was actually very beautiful. It was remastered in 2015, and I believe God of War Ascension was released in 2013. I'm very excited to see how a 2013 originally released from Santa Monica Studios game looks like compared to the remastered version of 2015. I just think that it's really neat to see how the depth of the game kind of changes. And I know that I've talked to you guys about this a lot in the previous games, but God of War was beautiful for its time. Even the 2005 game was way ahead of its own time in graphics and music. So following the God of War series this way has been really neat. And I know that the storyline doesn't really add up all of the time. We're going all the way back to when Kratos first had that horrible night slaughtering his family and Ares' name. It's kind of a deeper dive into him before we get into the 2018 version, which is the next one on the list. I'm excited because I think this could be a really neat refresher on who Kratos was before the end of God of War 3, which was an amazing ending. I walked away from that game with a lot of thoughts in my head about Kratos. And I know over his journey, his anger and rage, not caring who he kills, not caring about the repercussions of the world or humanity even, all the way to the end of God of War 3, where he starts to realize what happened when he opened Pandora's box in God of War 1. And realizing that he has had this hope inside of him for so long, but what happened with his family had been suppressing it so far down that he couldn't even feel the faintest little blip of hope, the purest form of hope. Seeing Kratos' story so far has been amazing. I cannot wait to get into the 2018 version because I know that takes place many, many, many years after God of War 3. Before we go into God of War 2018, Taking this step back and going six months after Kratos killed his family and 10 years before God of War 2005 is going to be a cool look into Kratos and how he really developed all of these anger and issues that have carried with him throughout the entire God of War series. But I have definitely been looking forward to hopping into another God of War game and I was going to react to the trailer of this one because I heard amazing things about it. It was apparently released in the 2013 Super Bowl, but unfortunately it has some copyright music by Ellie Goulding, which I love Ellie Goulding. So I was very shocked when I first started watching the trailer for a reaction and immediately picked up on who it was. So unfortunately I can't do a reaction of it because it is a copyrighted song, which it irks me that sometimes game developers do this. They put music into the game or into their trailers that we obviously can't be listening to on YouTube or else we get in trouble and my account could get flagged. And I obviously don't want to do anything that could hurt this channel. So I won't be doing reaction to it, but the trailer was absolutely mind blowing. I don't think that I have seen a game trailer that has been that moving um, ever before. That was a very, very beautiful and the song and I know that I love Ellie Goulding already, but it just, it was such a deep and amazing trailer. So if you haven't checked it out yourself, I will leave a link also for that in the description below. So instead we'll be heading straight into God of War Ascension. In the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, 
this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shade, the Furies were bound to no one, for they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. The Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Mmm, interesting. Wow. What a beginning. Because we know that Kratos broke his blood oath with Ares. He broke it right after he killed his wife and daughter. He said that he wasn't going to do anything for Ares anymore, and he broke his oath. He started to turn against him. So I wonder if it's just going to be us battling it out with these primordials, which it kind of looks like it based on this starting screen. I'm used to the starting screen with the half of Kratos' face, but this is... this is intense. He's trapped in this amber stone looking thing. Okay. All right, so I went through and changed some options. I changed some sounds around, added subtitles, but I think we're ready to get started. I like the storyline so far. I'm interested to see what happens when we get in there. I'm assuming that Hecatonus, I think was the name that they said, is kind of how Kratos' fate is gonna look if I had to guess, um, because this is set, I think it said six months after we killed our, Kratos killed his family um, because of Ares and he denounced Ares as his God. So I'm interested to see where this is gonna go. Oh, we can have multiple profiles in this one. That's pretty cool. Yes, create a new profile. I think I'm going to do normal. <laughs> I've done normal in every single game that I've played so far and been, been getting my butt kicked in pretty much all of them. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with normal for this one too. This game was developed in 2013, which I feel like around that time games started to get a little bit more handholdy, but I think normal will be good um, for me in this game. <laughs> Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like yep. a fly in the web of the Furies. Never, never again. Oh, well, there's that profile. I like how they kept that. He looks weak. He's all chained up. Oh, wow. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. What 
What's wrong? You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? But then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electo was never one for manners. Jeez. Not to worry. I am quite skilled at teaching. Respect! Jeez. Dodge? Okay. For what you've taken, I owe you that. Wow. Okay. We're doing it. Ooh, I should have dodged that. Prison break. <laughs> Prison of the damned. All right, I guess we're kind of chasing after him. All right, before we go chase her, oh, what a crazy beginning to this game. Um, I just want to take a look at the menu like I normally do when I first pop in. So it looks like we do have the Blades of Chaos right now, which is interesting that we were allowed to keep those. <laughs> um, a bunch of unknown items, a bunch of unknown artifacts. And looks like that's it. We still have feathers and gorgon eyes, and looks like the red orbs are all the same. So, pretty cool. I'm gonna break these vases. You think you are special because Ares shows you, but you are nothing. Okay, so we don't have our wings. I think that was like God of War two that we got the Icarus wings. Yeah, double jumping. Don't love all of the bugs. Um, <laughs> don't love the bugs. All right, so we've got like a kick going on. Our heavy oh, rage meter full. Unleash only when the rage meter is full. Okay. So new moves will only happen if the meter is full. That's interesting. A little bit different. I'm starting to get the vibes that this game is much more like trying out new tip, new tricks for Kratos. I don't know. Just very interesting how the rage meter is set up like that. Lord Ares is a fool to want you back. Some more bugs. Can we break down this door? Nope. I wonder where we are right now. I'm guessing just some sort of like primordial prison. Try as you want. You will never catch me. Oh, some frame droppage here. Get up here. Oh, there she is. Nice chest. Whoa, what an interesting way to open the chest. Just smash it. A record from the scribe of Hecaton, uh, Hecaton Chris. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Every night they come into my cell. It's unspeakable what they do. Majera's parasites. I cannot rid myself of them. Oh getting a lot of bug vibes and I'm not really here for it. Don't love the bug vibes. I can't break open any of these poor people's cells. 
I wonder what they did to get in here. Die, mortal! Oh. Is it transforming him? Oh no. Okay. R1 to grapple to enemies and throw them. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> How many more? Okay, I thought I heard someone else. Grapple stun stunned enemies. Okay. platform up there. Okay, so that's like their final kill. Okay. Need to watch my health. Kick them and disarm certain enemies. Okay. Should have blocked that. You will perish in your attempt to be free. Everything looks so slimy and sticky and disgusting here. I'm gonna go check these rooms. Can I get in? Oh, I can't get in there. Okay. Just before we leave, I wanna see if we're missing anything. The graphics are great. I feel like they look really, really nice. My only gripe is that... Oh, we have a sword now. My only gripe is the camera angles are a little bit weird, but um, maybe they'll get better. Okay, I can't go through there. L1 and O for a special discard. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if they drop their sword, we can pick it up and do some moves with it. That's pretty nice. All right. Do I have to grapple? Yeah. I wonder if there's anything over here. Sometimes there's like chests back behind. <laughs> they like to be sneaky. R1 to open the chest. Okay. Nice. I wish I could free them, but I guess that's not really Kratos' style. <laughs> Um, another record from the scribe of Hecatonchris. An oath to the gods is too easily sworn and not so easily broken. The Furies only see their version of right and wrong. Such as the gods and the titans. Common theme. Nice. Okay, nothing back there. Let's keep going. 
Oh, interesting button. I like how they try to do a little bit of different stuff here. Hint messages. Like the UI is different. The camera angles are a little bit weird, but maybe it's just the area that we're in. Like, look at this. It's always like sideways or like coming down from like looking up. I don't know. It's very interesting. It's very creative. I guess I'll you will see how we treat oathbreakers here. Another sword. Okay. Multi weapon hit that can stun enemies when discarded. Okay. All right. Oh, for a special attack. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm like chained. Oh, wow. There's like a big old hand and it looks like a living person that died and they made a structure around him. Super weird. I hate these bugs. Can I use like special moves? Yeah, I don't have any of that yet. We only have 915 orbs. I think for the first upgrade it was like 3k. We will see how you fare against the Hecatonkeries. Hecatonkeries. <gasps> no. 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 Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, this is so gross. Whoa. I'm about to fight this thing. <laughs> to evade? Okay. You're going to be doing a lot of evading. the big sword. Is there any way I can get to him from here? Oh, I can. Okay. Nice. Use these to fuel the rage meter. Gold orbs. Okay. Okay, I feel like if I stand in that corner when he's doing that, it's pretty safe. I can get some more hits on him. This is 
so wild. It's really hard to fight with the platform constantly moving like this. Okay. R1 to grapple, okay. I think I need to like jump and get up to him. Ooh, he got me there. I thought I died. some health. I don't know what he's doing. He's freaking me out. <laughs> okay. Oh, go back down. Oh, he's catching on. That was really close. Alright, watch out. Okay. Woo. This is a crazy fight. I like how they kept the prompts on the peripherals. I like that a lot. Oh. Okay. Got a hand. It's <laughs> Actually, we're Kratos, so we uh, most definitely can. Ooh, okay. Sewers. Why do we always end up in the sewers? Sheesh. Another recording script from Hecaton Chris. The Fury's Queen Son. The Fury's Queen Son entered the world this night. Is he the prophecy's marked one? How can one so newly made be seen as such a failure by his father? The Fury's the Fury Queen's son. Okay. I don't know who he could be talking about. 
Are we not supposed to go out this way? Well, these are glowing. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. Climb back out. Can I get up there from... Oh, I see. Yeah, drop down. Um, hold L in the direction you want to go and then across the gap. Okay. My sisters are too kind to you. Where do we go from here? Maybe on this ledge? The climbing in this game is very fluid. The most fluid I've seen in any of the games so far. Thanks, bird. I guess we get up this way now. <laughs> All right, there is a health chest over here. I'm gonna grab it. Look at the background, that huge waterfall in the mountains and the hands that are hanging off. So based on the beginning and all of the messages inside of this structure from the Hecaron Hecaronicus, I feel like I'm, I say it wrong every single time. I'll get it right. I think this is him. This is like his body that we're using as the prison, but I don't know because it looked like he was trapped inside of a stone in the beginning. It's very interesting. All right, there's some chest in here. We still don't have enough orbs for our first upgrade. Yeah, it's 3K. Unlock parry, new moves and increased damage. So we have to actually unlock parry. <laughs> okay. There's a lever over here. A chain. And of course they were unleashed. Press and hold to launch enemies into the air. glowing amber stone so it is amber representing a prisoner's sworn oath witnessed and enforced by the furies beat the game to use the item okay i like how they have those little things that you can use um if you decide to play the game again i think it's neat all right nothing else was over here right I love the art on the walls. All right. So let's see what this, what this chain does. Opens the gate. Okay. I kind of like how the look and feel of this game is completely different than any of the other ones we've played so far, because we are going back in the story to 
when Kratos was starting to walk along his path of rage after being deceived by Ares. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of cool that it feels a lot different than the, than the other games. I'm liking it a lot so far. The art is very interesting. I will not indulge you as my sister. I have never seen. He is the one. He will free us from the Fury's grasp. He is cursed. Stay away. I'm guessing they're talking about me, Kratos. Hmm. Whoa. 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 This is wild. Okay. trapped in this cube right now. Dang, that one knocked me down to the ground. Grapple point, okay. The running man. <laughs> the guard house. Wow, all of the arms are so crazy. All right, so what is this? Pull the crank. R one to detach. Okay. What is it doing? There's another blade here. There's a chest up there. Um, what's up here? There's like a lever over here. And a health box. I should probably take that. I don't want to pull the lever until... Oh, look. Maybe it brings the ladder out, actually. Ooh, okay. I'm dropped out of that room. Oh, like a zip line of some sort? Okay. Go up the ladder. There's a grapple over there, but I guess I can't get to it yet. All right, so let's see what happens when we pull this now. Oh, a Cyclops. <laughs> That's what happens. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm sure 
off that one. Still no way to get up or over. All right, so let's pull the chain again. I think he interrupted us in the middle of pulling this all the way back. Yeah, okay. So now we can use it as a grapple point. From that side. Okay, because we can't latch onto it here. That's silly. Back up the ladder. Nice. Alright, we're here. Um, to push away from the wall. Oh, okay, we're trying to break in. Glory be to Olympus! I am free! Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I thought he squashed him. He's about to get squashed. Oh no. Any worse, but it did. No, I did a 
too soon. Okay. Go! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh boy. Well, there goes half of our battlefield. <laughs> As if it wasn't already small enough, this crazy guy. How am I supposed to get to him now? Great. That was unfortunate. There's so much motion blur. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> like this boss battle is pretty cool, but the motion blur is making it almost impossible to make these attacks not kill me. I'm probably gonna die. Doing it again. There you go. There we go. I barely made that. I thought I was gonna die for sure. All right, let's run, 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 run. Smash him. Probably gonna get more bugs out here, isn't he? Yep. Upgrade now. I guess I could do it in the middle of this fight. It might make it better. <laughs> this fight is so wild. I feel like the motion blur is just a touch too much. Um, other than that, the fight's pretty epic, but I just wish that there was a way to turn motion blur off at least a little tiny bit. Cause with the platform moving and also the the baddie moving and also me moving around, it's a lot of movement. And I'm just constantly losing where Kratos actually is. So that's my only gripe. But let's go ahead and upgrade this. Get some new moves. Increase damage, which will definitely help. And we can unlock parry, which is huge. All right. We got this. We have like a sliver of health, but <laughs> we got this. Now that we have some new moves... Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Let's try again. <laughs> Let's try again. Hopefully it doesn't start me from the very beginning. Please don't start me from the very beginning. Okay, good. So we get to start in this level. I don't think our sword is upgraded. Yeah, we'll just do it after the fight. It's okay. We'll make it. We made it this far. Trying to get rid of some of these bugs.
we how you really feel? How did we earn that? I guess we're just slashing around. <laughs> Or maybe they know that the fight is like too motion blurry. Maybe the game heard me complaining. Okay, so we're back inside. <laughs> what a crazy, disgusting first boss battle. It would have been so much better if the motion blur was just a touch lighter. Another note, maybe? I'll open that in a second. There's also a lever. We should do the upgrade now, too. Let's go ahead and power these back up. I've also noticed that there aren't any save points, like the glowy save points. So I guess it's just kind of like saving as we go, or maybe I'm just not that far into the game yet. We'll have to see. Does this give you a description of the blades? Forged in the pits of Tartarus, these blades are a deadly reminder of your past. That's actually really cool that it gives a description like that. Um, Aegon, the Hecatonicus. Oh, look at the background. The first to break a blood oath. The Furies tortured him, twisting his flesh and bones into the dark walls of this prison. So yes, he was the one that they made the prison out of. That's awful. Ugh. Okay. I feel like we should be able to open that, but let's see what this lever does. Okay. Make sure there's no like statues or something. Infected hand of Aegon. Infected by Majera's parasites. This limb is now severed from its master. Don't love the parasite bug stuff in this game. It's because I'm not a big bug lover. It's very interesting though. All right, let's go in here. Meet your end. Dogs? Bug dogs. Can we grab them too? Alright, let's grab them and try to throw them into the... Into that thing. These poor people all prisoned up in here. I just want to check the room for chests real quick. Can I go up one more level? No. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay.
another move. Oh, it was this one. Like a pound, I guess. All right. All right, there's glowy things on either side. Oh, uh, okay. Hopefully I didn't have to go over there for anything. <laughs> Can we go across? Oh no, we can't, okay. Oh, I lost it. I was like, why is he kicking this one? <laughs> That's what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to kick it a little bit. Oh, that one fell. Is that supposed to be like that? The other one's probably gonna fall too. Yeah, it's slowly falling. I didn't realize you were on a time limit. There we go. I have little patience left. <sighs> oh no, she broke our elevator. Great. I think I could just leave, but I think I need to kill them first. There we go. Is that killing me? I'm scared. Go, Rados, run! Oh my goodness. Oh, we have to... Okay. 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 We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Record from the scribe of Hecatonicus. <laughs> it's the first trader who was made to house us. It is the first trader who was made to house us. The walls, they breathe. The Hecatonchorus is the one who began this madness. Every Oathbreaker is tortured. Man, this place feels worse than, like, Hades. The Hecatonchorus. Look at that. Ugh. This place is awful. Another record. The Fury Mag Magera seeks out only punishment of the flesh, but it's the Fury Tissaphone whose tricks are more cruel. They all sound terrible, honestly. What's happening in here? <gasps> Is that Kratos? Oh, the gods have rewarded us. Glory to Eros. He has given us a champion. Come, champion. No, me. Why is this happening here? Are we being tricked? They are nothing. Come 
with me and experience the greatest of pleasures. I feel like this has to be like an illusion or a trick or something, right? What is that ring? <laughs> yeah, it's an illusion. He is mine! I will take care of this! Just like the note outside warned us. Her trickery. They knew what appealed to Kratos. <laughs> oh no! Are those satires already? Holy! Let me kill these bugs off a little bit first. Ooh, should have blocked that. I think I just reflected that back. That was pretty cool. All right, can I grab these guys? Yes. What about you? Mm, should have blocked that. You have caused me pain for the last time, Spartan. Oh no. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, that's terrible. What's happening now? Oh, oh no. That looks terrifying. This is my nightmare. Oh my gosh. Another moving platform. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, so maybe weak spots? Question mark? I can't really get to them. like weak spots I don't think I have any I don't think I have a big sword which kind of sucks okay let's get over there I feel like these are important to be hitting it just sucks that there's all these enemies that I need to take care of I feel like 
That's not doing anything, so we should be focusing on this guy for sure. We're not getting any hits in. Okay. I was waiting for like a button prompt. Oh dang. Jeez, Kratos. Focusing only on the task ahead. Kratos struggled to remember the weeks prior to his imprisonment. To the time when he set out to break his bond with Ares, the god of war. Three weeks earlier? Your mind is troubled. <laughs> Your skills are still without equal. Do you have business with me? I do. But this is not the manner to discuss it. I see no other way. You have no reason to trust me, Spartan. I only ask that you try. Your thoughts are not your own, but I can help you. I believe these belong to you. Oh, she was wearing Use these his items wife. to steal your mind, Kratos. Do not let illusion deceive you. Wow, that's how he was able to tell. Have the visions ceased? I see only you. Good. You will need this skill for the path ahead. And what path is that? The path of freedom, Kratos. Freedom? Yes, freedom. Freedom from the Furies who relentlessly hunt you in the name of Ares. And ultimately, freedom from your bond to the God of War himself. Break an oath with a god. <laughs> of all the minds in question, mine is not the one to worry about. You waver from sound mind to illusion in the beat of a heart. Is that any life for a great warrior? He's going crazy. Fury's on here. They cannot know I speak with you. I will draw them away. The truth waits for you in Delphi, Kratos. Seek the Oracle. 
in Delphi. Lost treasures, spoils of war. These small tokens from the past keep you from slipping deeper into the insanity of the Furies. Wow, that's... This is crazy deep. I am loving this story. So Kratos is... He pretty much... He's lost it after what happened to him with his family. And he's dealing with it now as the Furies are hunting him to take him into their prison for obey disobeying Ares and for renouncing his blood oath to Ares. It's pretty wild. All right, nothing else over here. Oh, we can go back inside the house. That he was imagining was his house back with his family still still perfect not in shambles like it is now all right everyone i think this is a great stopping point for the day i'm loving the storyline so far i love the art i love the changes in the camera angles now i'm kind of getting more used to it as i get to appreciate and love that that maybe this was more of a way for santa monica studio to try something new with these god of war series it has some of the same UI designs and characteristics of the older ones, but I feel like they're really starting to play with some of the textures, some of the buttons, some of the looks and feels and overall art of the game. I feel like this one is much deeper in a way and the storytelling is super good so far. I am really interested to see what happens with this Oracle and how Kratos starts to get out of this mindset of pretty much losing it. He's having visions of his wife and being in his house and picking up his daughter's necklace. The ring is ultimately what helped him pull out of the illusion that one of the Furies was giving him in that moment before we were projected three weeks earlier back. So I was a little bit nervous at first starting a game that brought us all the way back in time before starting the bigger 2018 game. I feel like sometimes I wish I would have started with this game first, but I'm really glad that I didn't because I wouldn't have known what the heck is going on i wouldn't have understood anything about the wife and the daughter and these feelings that kratos is going through i wouldn't have connected to it as deeply as i'm connecting to it now knowing everything that kratos has been through after this point i feel like this is a really really awesome game that can bring us into 2018 with an even deeper and emotional understanding of kratos and everything that he's been through and everything that took him to that point of stabbing himself in the end of God of War 3 and giving hope back to mankind. So I'm definitely looking forward to coming back in. I hope you all enjoyed this first look into God of War Ascension as much as I did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.